First to 10 tonight, two Democrats will face off in the next week's primary election for Scott County Sheriff. Thanks for joining us tonight. I'm Kyle Bales. Gordon Morse with the Davenport Police Department and Thomas Gibbs with the Scott County Sheriff's Office are eyeing the nomination to run against the winner of the Republican nominee in November. I spoke with both candidates today to learn about their vision for that office. As well as other candidates, I believe there needs to be a change in leadership with the Sheriff's Department. I believe that the current views of the Sheriff are a bit outdated. If I was happy with the way things are being run, I probably wouldn't be running. Um, and so I'm not here to disparage the current sheriff for what he is or isn't doing. Um, I'm just trying to bring forward the message that I would like to see done. Working with the sheriff's office for 20 years, Lieutenant Gibbs believes simple arrest numbers are not the most important metric when judging the success of a program. So as people come into the jail, how can we help them not come back? Right? Can we get them their education? Can we get them addiction counseling? Can we get them parenting classes? How can we help them better themselves so that when they get out, they can come back and contribute? Um, I also want to do more training um, for both law enforcement and corrections, and I want to increase community engagement. Davenport Police Corporal Gordon Morse agrees law enforcement needs a better approach, and as sheriff, he would consider reallocating resources toward a mental health initiative. It would utilize officers from all the local departments, as well as mental health professionals and social services. Uh, with those officers, they would uh, be given specialized training and uh, mental health crisis and with de-escalation. Back in 2022, incumbent Sheriff Tim Lane ended monthly meetings for the Sex Offender Task Force due to a disagreement with the Department of Corrections, something his opponents believed was the wrong decision. As a sheriff, sometimes you tend to want to take control and be the person in control. And sometimes that can't necessarily be the, the direction that you have to go. If you're going to work in a co collaborative effort in a task force, it has to be joint communication and everybody's opinions taken into consideration. And so you've got to have those confidential meetings to help better get a holistic picture of what's going on in the community and with the sex offenders and what's on the registry. And so those meetings have got to be reinstated. And if people cannot be professional enough to conduct themselves as needed, then maybe they should ask not to attend and somebody else can come in their place. And for the state's push to get local law enforcement involved in deporting undocumented immigrants, both candidates do not believe the new law will work in practice. This law would forcefully bring those to the sheriff's doorstep because he would have no choice but to house them in the county jail. Who pays for that? There's nothing in the, the state law that, that was passed that says how that's going to be funded. Our job is to protect the community. Um, so there's an issue already with people who are undocumented and they're a victim of a crime. They're already reluctant to come report those crimes to the police, which is not going to help the community out as a whole. Now, yesterday I spoke with Sheriff Lane and his primary challenger, Chris Lay. You can find that piece on our news app and website. The election is next Tuesday, June 4th, and polling places will be open from 7 a.m. to 8 p.m.